Hello and welcome to today's Mind Sound Studio sessions. And first of all, before I even do continue, um, please excuse me not looking at the camera right at this moment. This will be changed in a few seconds. Um, okay, here we go once again. Is the picture okay? Is like the um, image selection fine? Uh, due to the, my slightly changed setup today, I wasn't able to check that out properly. Um, as I announced in advance, today's session focuses on delays and, uh, and on reverbs. And when I say reverb, it's like into these surreal, completely whacked out kind of reverb thing. Um, for that first tune, we had a little bit of vocal noises, followed by electric guitar and then some soprano saxophone. Um, there's a lot of gear present today, and I think I'll be doing some talk about that gear just a little bit later on. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna have a look at the chat. Why is that thing on? 100 BPM, that's crazy. Okay, chat. Okay, I see that's kind of the usual suspects for something like that. Um, to everyone in the audience, nice to have you here today. Um, I'm gonna do something else right now. Uh, I mean it completely different, just, just like a different tune. Uh, let's see where we can go from here. Da, 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 da. This is stupid. Ah, that's the one I was after. So, let's see. Heaven work. That's a preset done by me. And I think that's cool.
Okay. Okay, sorry for that computer crash in between. Um, as before, I need a few seconds to get all those things back to normal, which they use usually are not. Uh, I did something to the EQs here. Ah, got it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the fact is, I haven't been playing a lot. Uh, I mean, I've been playing nearly nothing with uh, like physical effect boxes. And uh, as announced before, I'm gonna talk you through the setup here, not before having a look. Um, at the chat. Thanks everyone. Um, okay, let's see. Signal sources are one, that microphone. For those interested in that kind of stuff, it's a, a Rode NT1A going through a RME Quad mic. And then there's a guitar, it's an Ibanez RX260. It's a really cheap guitar. I got it like secondhand for think like 200 euros and I think this thing really rules uh, from my vantage point of a non-guitar player I mean it plays nice it feels nice you have uh, like a lot of different pickup configurations which all sound nice uh, then I'm going through a, the guitar goes through a pot x3 live um, and then all of these sources hit the console here it's a uh, Behringer MX26 uh, 42A. Uh, this console has been out of production for a long time and it's really cool to have it installed in the rack. Um, and then the main other, all of the other return, uh, channels are used as returns for all the effects which I feed via the six, aux, six auxes and the four subgroups. So that's another thing that makes this thing cool. Um, in no specific order, there's an Aventide Eclipse with the version 4 software. There's a TC Electronic Fireworks. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, a Boss VF1, the little red box. Got like a 20 tap multi tap delay, which you can modulate. Then the Zoom 1201. It's a really cheap device. I got it like secondhand for like 20 or 30 euros. This was a tip from Rick Walker and it can really do a lot of fun things among them. Um, really surreal reverb spaces. Then I got this old Sony GRMP5. Um, I also got this secondhand for like 200 D marks, which would be around 100 euros and um, this came out around the time when when you had like the boss uh, sh shortly before the boss se 70 i mean in between se 50 and 70 and the same time as the um no uh, as the digitech studio board i think this was around 1992 1990 19, 1990 or end of the 80s <coughs> Adrian Belou used this a lot and that other guy which played with Duran Duran um, then there's a bearing virtualizer also a cheap thing I think I only use one preset here it's also some kind of delay network then of course the boss DD20 used only in delay modes and a Korg KP3 chaos pad okay I've been playing now for like 45 minutes I'm going to have a look at chat and until I do that, make up your mind, do you want an encore or should I just call it a day?
Okay, I'm not going to play Freebird. Um, I'm not going to play Whip and Post either. What would you like me to do? More minimalistic than before or more tonal? Um, make up your mind. Tell me what you'd like. I'm really an open cat, you know, here. I can do whatever you ask me to, unless it's something odd. But even then, I might do it. Uh, especially if it's something odd. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start doing some guitar stuff which will sound fairly normal. I'm gonna uh, play something and try to set down a loop in the Boss DD20 and then see where those gazillions of effects take me from there. There will be a short period of playing at the beginning and then it will be all turning knobs and pushing buttons. By the way, uh, about pushing buttons, this is a search string you should definitely uh, enter on YouTube. There's like this really funny video, it's kind of a promo video by Akai and it has like uh, three different IDM and uh, instrumental hip hop guys going crazy with uh, Akai NPCs, it's really fun. Uh, but back to the music. Why does the sound quality suck so badly? Okay, try that again. Thank you. 
Okay, here's the thing you need to know about ambient mu music. Uh, even if you only play a few notes, it's going to last in excess of one hour all the time. Um, gonna have a look at the chat. Thanks again. Was really great fun to have you here. Um, I don't, I'm right now too lazy to go back to Rick has two stages, Cyprus, Cyprus, it works. Are you also discussing the festival? Uh, may I ask who of you in the audience is actually attending Rick's festival? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not this year, so please tell me what what is... Okay, as usual, Jeff and Jim, uh, Steve, I think you told me that you unfortunately can't be there either. So, um, to wrap up today's session, thanks again for being here. It was a pleasure playing for you. It was also a pleasure to do this odd stuff with lots of crazy effects. Um, as always, if you missed part of it or a friend of yours tells you he would have liked to come and missed it, uh, just go to this very Ustream channel and the recordings are always made available in an unedited format. And with that, have a nice rest of the weekend, see you in two weeks. Uh, talking about that, it might be possible that I am required to skip the session in two weeks for me being on a holiday trip. I'm still sorting out details. It might as well be that I'm playing a session right, the, uh, right uh, next Saturday and then don't play anything for like three weeks or, or I am take some stuff along and play it from a holiday spot. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do there. But nevertheless, have a nice weekend. Stay tuned. Um, Go to Rick's Festival if you can. See ya. Thanks again.